Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cretaceous Campcast. I am Cretaceous Dave, and this is a podcast all about Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous and Jurassic World Chaos Theory. In today's episode, I have another cameo Q&A with none other than the voice of Darius himself, Paul McKell Williams. If you didn't tune into the last one, what this segment is, is I'll send Paul McKell Williams some questions via the app Cameo, and he will record videos for me responding to those questions. Uh, I highly recommend you hit him up if you have anything you want to ask him, want him to say anything, give you a shout out for your birthday, a new job, anniversary. Uh, you know, he's really cool, he's responsive, and he's just an overall great guy. Uh, if you pay attention to us on social media, you'll see that I run some contests from time to time, and the winner of those contests gets a personalized video from Paul McHale Williams. So, not going to go into details explaining everything, the, the history with Cameo. Um, if you're interested in that, check a few episodes back with the first Cameo Q&A. And I'm going to kick things off, and I'm going to read you off the questions, and we're going to hear his answers. All right, here we go. First question. What was your reaction the first time you saw a Darius action figure? Hello to you on this beautiful day. Uh, I actually just got off work and I figured I'm walking home today, I'm getting some exercise. So, I've decided to help out with Dave's cameo today. Um, so, my first reaction when I saw the Darius action figure, well, both me and my mom's reaction, there's a car going by, I'm gonna sh shut up for a moment. Okay, so. My first reaction when I saw the Darius action figure, both me and my mom saw the figure at the same time. Even Darius' is like character in general, it was just like, that looks exactly like me. And it was like, it was, it was so weird. But um, I don't know, when I saw the action figure, actually the first action figure, or the first figure in general that I saw of Darius was actually um, a Lego figure that uh, DreamWorks gifted to me in the first uh, Lego set of Camp Cretaceous, which is actually so cool. I still have it built to this day. Um, it's sitting up at my aunt's house because that's where I built it. But it is one of the best Lego sets I've ever had. And I don't know, when I first saw it, I was just like, actually, I was so shocked and in awe. Number one, because they sent me a free Lego set and I freaking love Legos. And number two, the, the resemblance was uncanny. I mean, just to see, even to see like, a black Lego figure because that's not something that I that I really saw growing up you know it was like I saw stuff I bought stuff like Lego Ninjago um, and, and stuff like that I bought like the, the the Call of Duty Lego sets and stuff like that but to see like other characters represent me um, that that was amazing I mean of course there were always like other black Lego figures that came out but that one in particular I don't know it just it it kind of hit me I guess if you could say that. All right, next. Have you considered doing photo ops or autographs at any Comic Cons? Um, let's see. Have I ever, have I ever considered doing photos or, or, or pictures at Comic Con or autographs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would. Um, that sounds like an amazing thing. I mean, I'm, to be honest, you guys are going to hate me, but I've never been to Comic Con. Like, once in my life like well i did go to the one in uh i went to the one in long beach or somewhere in that general area um not the one in san diego those those get confused but the one in long beach or somewhere around there um and it was cool i mean it was amazing i saw like people cosplay as anime characters as marvel characters there's this one guy that uh cosplayed as kirito from from sword art online he had both the swords on his back he had the elucidator and everything it was so cool um but like dude i would love just any comic con experience it's like on that huge of a level whether it's san diego whether it's new york i'm down to go to either one i mean it's awesome like um but i mean yeah shoot if you guys ever want to go hit me up <laughs> i'll go with you guys and finally for this round have you ever ridden the velocicoaster um, and yes, I have ridden the Velocicoaster, and I am proud to report that it is my favorite roller coaster of all time. All time. The Velocicoaster, uh, I, <laughs> the wait was worth it. I mean, they didn't have, uh, when I went, they didn't have the, what's it called, the, the, the fast pass access thing set up, and Turn the wait right onto was like, uh, I'm looking at random stuff, but <laughs> my map just went off. But um, 
but it was like two it was a like two and a half hour wait time or something like that and oh my gosh was that so worth it it has two well okay okay i'm not gonna spoil it for you guys so i'm just gonna cut off the video here but um <laughs> yeah that's my experience dude i definitely recommend it the velocicoaster universal studios orlando hit it up because you guys will love it trust me all right this time i did uh two rounds of questions because you're limited to the number of characters you could send so this is the second batch of questions for this particular q a first one do you know anything about the Maisie lockwood books and if so what are your thoughts dave my main man always looking out for me all right so let's look at this one um have I, do I know anything about the Maisie Lock? I actually don't. Um, I'd definitely be open to hearing about it though. Hey, if you ever get me on your show, I mean, maybe. Gotta do a little bit of coordinating. Is there any particular actor you'd love to work with on a future project? But, um, is there any particular actor you'd love to work with on a future project? I actually don't have one in mind. For some reason, Chris Pratt is the one that's coming to mind. I've kind of been looking at, you know, a lot of his work recently, and he's just such a good actor. I guess that I would, he'd probably be my first pick to work with, or even just talk to. He's just such a nice person, you know? And the last one for this batch, how do you think Darius reacted to the feathered dinosaurs in Dominion if he found out about them? And, hmm, for the last one. How do you think Darius reacted to the feathered dinosaurs? How do I think he would have reacted to the feathered dinosaurs in Dominion? I think that Darius would have had a freaking field day with the feathered dinosaurs. Because I know that in the dinosaur community, there's a lot of, you know, I'm not even going to say debate. Um, because it's true. Dinosaurs had feathers. And um, I feel like upon seeing that, Darius would like absolutely go ballistic and be like, oh, that's so cool. And, <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah. Hey, if you ever want to ask me any more questions, I'm always here. Anyways, thank you so much, Dave. Love talking to you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Peace out. All right. Huge thanks once again to Paul McHale Williams. He's always so generous in doing these. Um, we're still trying to work on if I can get an official interview or if he can come on the show, as you heard him mention in one of the answers. Um, I chat with him semi-regularly over the chat feature. Uh, he's just an overall great guy. And like I said, if you're interested in a personalized message from him, for whatever reason, or you want to ask him some questions, go to Cameo. Uh, it's an app and it's also a website and you can just look for him by name. And, you know, he's like 20 bucks to book him. Uh, it's a bargain if you ask me. He, he's been, you know, so great to us. Friend of the podcast. So probably be doing more of these in the future. Uh, I have a lot of fun and, you know, he's told me he enjoys doing them as well. So until next time, stay safe, stay Jurassic, and everyone have yourselves a great day.